Up first tonight, we are getting to see washed out sections of interstate up close. The governor and other leaders also getting a first hand look. Six on your side reporter Molly O'Brien joins us now after being able to see the damage to I-40 firsthand near the Tennessee North Carolina state line. Molly joins us now live from Newport. Molly. That's right, Bo and Lori, it truly was a sight to see. Now, Governor Bill Lee uh, wrapping up that press conference about two hours ago. During that press conference, he went into more detail about the damage and the plans to repair I-40, specifically the section uh, between mile marker 447 and mile marker 451. We were able to see that damage up close. Here is some video and photos of what I'm talking about. You can see the eastbound shoulder and parts of the light right lane washed away from the flooding. You can also see parts of the interstate washed up on the embankment. Now, the Tennessee Department of Transportation has received $32 million to help with repairing roads that were damaged due to Hurricane Helene. Those funds are from the U.S. Department of Transportation's Federal Highway Administration. During that press conference, the governor telling us they have accelerated project delivery. He also mentioned the importance of getting this stretch of the highway repaired. Governor Lee has been to several places hit hard by Helene, but today, during during this press conference, he did say there is a silver lining through all the devastation. It's inspiring that this volunteer spirit is alive and well in Tennessee, and you see it in these communities. It, from the day, from the, the first day I came out, which was almost a week ago, every day, you know, this is the fourth time I've been up here in the last week, and uh, every time I've come, We've made it a point not only to visit the professional response, like what we're, what we're looking at here, but the community response, and it is inspiring. Now, he did acknowledge the 12 lives that were lost due to this hurricane in the state of Tennessee. He said it's truly incredible that no one died on this stretch of the highway. I did specifically ask him about a temporary and permanent fix to this stretch of the highway. He says they hope to have uh, one lane open in both directions by the end of next week. As for a permanent fix, he didn't have a timeline on that. Reporting live in Cock County, Molly O'Brien, six on your side.